Strawberry Fields Forever is one of the Beatles' most famous songs, but not many people know the story behind it. When John Lennon was growing up in Liverpool, Strawberry Field was a Salvation Army children's home near the house where he lived with his aunt Mimi. For John, Strawberry Field was a place of refuge in his troubled childhood. He and his friends would often climb the wall and play on the grounds of Strawberry Field. Many years later, at the height of his creative powers, John would cast his mind back to his childhood days to write one of the Beatles' most memorable songs. Him and a group of lads used to come and whistle for the girls, and unfortunately we had a very large tree in the garden with a thick, thick brand that they used to sit on and whistle for the girls. John Lennon was a good lad, really. He was a nice lad, old John. He was very good. Strawberry Field opened in 1935 as a home for girls. By the 40s and 50s, the place had expanded to welcome boys. Throughout the decades, Strawberry Field continued its mission, adapting to the changing times. When they first came in, they were frightened little objects and worried about whether they were doing the right thing or not, you know? But eventually they learned to trust us and uh, we saw them grow up and, and they were able to be happy. In 1980, John Lennon was shot dead in New York. Four years later, his wife Yoko fulfilled a promise she had made to her son Sean and travelled to Liverpool to visit Strawberry Field. She arrived and there was all the press and uh, they went and met the children. She bought some little gifts for the children and a beautiful picture of her and, and John. And it was just a lovely time, you know, together. And following her visits, she made donation as well. She was very generous, very generous. By 2005, residential homes were no longer deemed the best place to care for vulnerable children, and Strawberry Field was closed. It had been a place of refuge, a loving home, for some of Liverpool's most vulnerable children for nearly 70 years. But the Salvation Army is keeping the Strawberry Field legacy alive. Plans are on their way to reopen Strawberry Field. At its core, it will house a training centre for young people with learning disabilities, a field in which the Salvation Army has wide experience. A visitors centre will include exhibitions with stories from Strawberry Field, its influence on young John Lennon and the origins of the famous song. I'm really quite excited and I hope that uh, Strawberry Field will continue the caring ministry that it has done since 1935. Strawberry Field became a legend, which the Salvation Army will continue to cherish and celebrate. Your contribution will help us to maintain the legacy of Strawberry Field and keep its famous gates open. Thank you.